Homeowners of an unfinished building in Wuxi were violently suppressed by special police. Hundreds of homeowners of rotten tail buildings in China have made collective announcements to stop paying their mortgages. In response, the government has promised to solve the problem of rotten tail buildings. However, just a few days ago, homeowners of a rotten building in Wuxi City took to the streets to defend their rights and were violently suppressed. On the evening of July 25th, a number of videos surfaced online showing homeowners of a rotten tail building protesting with a large number of special police on the scene. At least a few hundred of them gathered in front of the building during the day, shouting, Delivery! Deliver the homes! Delivery! In the evening, special police cordoned off the area and began to violently disperse the protesters. Many were knocked down to the ground, then dragged away. Some were taken to the conference room, cornered and beaten. One video shows protesters being taken away by special police, while the rest of the protesters screamed, Police are beating people up! By July 26th, homeowners of at least 321 uncompleted properties across the country have declared their collective refusal to pay mortgages. However, this Wuxi property being protested isn't among them. Following the surge of homeowners refusing to pay mortgages on the Rotten Tail projects, the Chinese Communist authorities have ordered financial institutions and local governments to revitalize the Rotten Tail buildings. But the fact that Wuxi's homeowners were protesting suggests that the local government hasn't followed through with the call from the central government. Real estate developers in China have been caught in debt crises one after another, and the volume of rotten tail developments has grown tremendously. It's estimated that at least hundreds of billions of RMB are involved in real estate where homeowners refuse to pay mortgages. Reuters recently reported that the Chinese Communist Party has raised 80 billion RMB in real estate funds to buy out the rotten tail buildings, but these funds are like a drop in the bucket. The government's efforts to protect the public's interest in the real estate sector are questioned by many. Many suspect that the CCP only intends to stall for time to maintain social stability before the CCP's 20th National Congress. A police officer fled after shooting five people, three are dead and two were injured in Lishan, Sichuan. On July 26, a police officer in China shot five people, three people were killed and two others were injured, and then the officer fled. On the 27th, the police issued a reward of 100,000 RMB for anyone providing any information that would lead to the capture of the shooter, and a police briefing on the investigation was held. However, on both occasions when authorities spoke about the incident, authorities didn't mention that the suspect was a police officer. Currently, a large number of police and militia have ventured into the mountains to search for and arrest the culprit. A staff member of the local police bureau revealed that the suspect committed the crime for a reason. The case was neither random nor were they non-discriminatory killings. Online sources revealed that at 14.20 on July 26, the suspect drove away following the shooting. The local police set up roadblocks trying to intercept him. According to an article in September 2021 from the official website of the local authority, the suspect, Lee, was born in October 1986 and joined the public security force in 2012. The article states he bravely rescued people who fell into the water twice within 50 days, but the article has since been deleted. Netizens with knowledge of the matter disclosed that the police officer committed the shooting because he was cheated on by his girlfriend and the three people killed were all members of his girlfriend's family. In response, mainland netizens made various comments, such as, The reason for the shooting is very important. Who were the people shot? I heard that the murderer used to be a hero and a good person. This police officer rescued drowning people twice within 50 days. He is a very caring person. As for why this happened, it's by no means accidental. The fewer the number of words used on the report, the bigger the matter is, and every word hides a lot of information. I hope the police will tell the truth to the public in a timely and ready fashion.